Hey guys, what's up Roman here from Tech Guides, and in this video I will show you how to realize a dual PC audio setup without a mixer by using a software called Voice Meter. Now this setup allows you to send audio from pretty much any audio device between different computers over Ethernet. So if for example you have a two PC streaming setup and you want to run Discord or TeamSpeak on your streaming PC, but you obviously have your microphone and headset connected to your gaming PC, then Voice Meter actually allows you to send audio from Discord, which is running on the streaming PC, back to your gaming PC. And vice versa, you can also set up Voice Meter to send the microphone connected to your gaming PC back to the Discord instance running on your streaming PC. Also, if you're running multiple computers in your office, but you only want to use one keyboard, mouse and headset, then this setup will allow you to hear any audio that is played back on the secondary PC through the audio device, so in this case a headset connected to your primary computer. By the way, I have just reviewed an excellent tool that allows you to share your mouse and keyboard between multiple computers in the same network. If you haven't seen this, then definitely check out the video linked in the card right now. So in today's video, I will first show you how to set up voice meter to send audio from a secondary PC to a primary PC. And then we're going to extend upon this to also send the microphone connected to the first PC to the second PC. So first you're going to have to download and install voice meter. You can get it from voicemeter.com. Scroll down a little bit and click on the orange install button. Now VoiceMeter is a free application, anybody can basically use it. However, if you like VoiceMeter and if you're feeling a little bit generous, then definitely consider donating a few dollars as this is an absolutely fantastic project and it would be a real shame if development wouldn't continue. Once downloaded, run the executable and install the software. Note you will have to reboot your system in order for VoiceMeter to properly function. Once you've restarted your computer, go to your playback devices and check if the voice meter input is available. If it isn't, right click on the sound speaker icon, click on open sound settings, go to manage sound devices and likely you'll find that the voice meter input is a disabled output device. So click on it and click on enable. And now you should be able to select this as a playback device. Now let's open up voice meter and start setting up the software. Now the first thing you have to do is set up a hardware output device. So click on the A1 which is the first of two audio devices that you can specify and select whatever audio device you generally use. By the way, if you see your device listed multiple times, then make sure to select the WDM or the Windows Driver Model Driver, which is basically the standard audio driver that most other applications also use. Also, this is a good time to check the sample rate of your standard audio device. To do this, once again, right click on the sound speaker icon, click on open sound settings, select your regular audio device, go to device properties, then additional device properties. And here you want to go to advanced and check whatever you have set as the default format. I generally tend to use 48,000 Hertz. So as you can see, this doesn't fit with the sample rate that we've got here. So click on menu, go to system settings, and change the preferred main sample rate to 48,000 or whichever number that you're using for your audio device. Now on the second computer, we're gonna do the same. So we select an audio device and set the proper sample rate. Now in order to simply merge the sound from the second PC on the first PC, you're gonna have to click on VBAN, which stands for the VB Audio Network Configuration and toggle VBAN on. Now in order to stream the audio from one PC to another, you simply have to enable one of the output streams. Also you have to enter the proper IP address where you want to send the audio to. You can find the local IP address at the top of the VB audio network configuration. So in my case, my first PC has the IP address 192.168.178.30. If there is a PC behind this local IP address and it has voice meter installed, then you should see this green square. And finally, make sure to select the voice meter input as playback device on your second PC. Back on the first PC, open up the VBAN configuration and toggle VBAN on. You should now be able to see one incoming stream. Enable the first stream and enter the IP address of your second PC. Again, if you get a green square, then the connection has been successfully established. Now you don't really need to change any of the other options, however make sure that the destination is set to virtual input. And with that you should now be able to hear any audio that is played back on the secondary PC on your primary PC. 
Pro tip, you can set up a fixed IP address in Windows by going to the control panel, clicking on network and internet, going to view network status and tasks, going to change adapter settings, right click on the internet adapter, click on properties, go to IPv4 properties again, and enter the IP address that you always wanna have set on this computer. Subnet mask is generally filled in automatically and the default gateway is the local IP address of your router. If you don't know what the IP address of your router is, click on the start menu, type in CMD, type in ipconfig forward slash all, and search for this information under the currently used internet adapter. Finally, the preferred DNS server is simply again the local IP address of your router. Note that you don't have to set an alternative DNS server. Click on OK and click on Close. Now theoretically, you could obviously now also simply connect your microphone to your streaming PC and wouldn't have to bother to set up voice meter to also transmit your microphone from your gaming to your streaming PC. So if you're happy with this, then you're basically done with this video. On the other hand, if you want to set up your microphone on your gaming PC, then you're gonna have to jump through a few more hoops in order to set up Discord or TeamSpeak on your streaming PC to actually receive audio from your microphone setup on your gaming PC. So for this, we first have to select our microphone under the first hardware input device. Now, the secret tip in avoiding an infinite loop of the audio coming from the stream PC, going into the main gaming PC and going back into the stream PC, is to set up a different bus for the microphone and the audio from the stream PC. So for the microphone, we're gonna select bus B, and for the virtual input, so this is the sound from the second PC, we're gonna select bus A. Now, as you can see, what happens is that my voice is now only on the B bus, whereas before it was on both A and B bus. And if I play something on my gaming PC, you can see that this now only plays back on bus A. Next, go back into the network configuration and enable the first output stream. Now, as I mentioned before, I have my microphone set up on bus B. So we're gonna select bus B as the audio source. Next, obviously, we have to put in the IP address of the device that should receive this audio stream. So this is once again 192.168.178.22 in my case. On the streaming PC, open up the network configuration and you can see that it now also receives one stream. So enable the first stream and enter the IP address of your gaming PC. In this case, make sure to select input 1 as destination for the microphone audio coming from the gaming PC. Next, make sure that the microphone is also only transmitting on the B bus on the streaming PC. If you don't deselect bus A, you can see that the microphone is transmitted back to your gaming PC and you'll hear your lovely voice back through your own headset. Obviously, that's not desirable, so definitely disable bus A. Also, once again, make sure that for the virtual input, you only select bus A. This is very important, because if you don't separate this, you'll get an infinite loop in Discord or TeamSpeak. So this brings us to the configuration in Discord. As input device, select voice meter output and as output device, select voice meter input. And as you can see, the Discord instance running on my streaming PC now successfully picks up on my microphone, which is actually connected to my main gaming PC. On the other hand, audio playback on the streaming PC does not trigger the voice activation in Discord. Nice. And with that, you should be able to now successfully communicate with your friends over TeamSpeak or Discord, which is actually running on a second PC. If you still have any questions, then don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you liked this video, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.